Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this special, special, special experiment video. Today is a very big experiment video. We, what we're gonna do is European Super League. So many of you might know European Super League. If you don't know, European Super League was something that FIFA tried to propose or are still proposing, if you wanna say. And uh, what they tried to do is they're gonna bring all the big European teams and put them in the same league, like the Champions League every every week. That was a proposal which has kind of got melted down a bit, but it was really in like full flow during I think so November or December. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the European Super League teams in the Premier League and see who comes out on top, who are the top goal scorers and everything. So that's what we're gonna do. For that, what we have is, what I've done is, I've put, um, I've actually put 17 big teams, though, who are proposed to come in this. So, they, they include Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, United, Spurs, Liverpool, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, AC Milan, Inter Milan, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, PSG, Ajax and Porto. And then add to fit other three teams. So what I've done is I've chosen Leicester from the Premier League because they finished seven, fifth last season. And I've chosen Lazio because they are in the Champions League places from Italy. And I've chosen Sevilla because they won the Europa League. So you can see this. All the teams are out here. All almost five star. I think only Ajax being four star other than, than, other than Ajax. Everybody is big. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into a career mode. So now I'm thinking which team to go with and I'm probably gonna choose Bayern Munich because they are the strongest I feel and they will probably do the best and I don't I will not get the sack. So this is the European Super League in the Premier League. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be excellent, it, is, it will be really interesting, so interesting to see what we can do with them. So yeah, let's get straight into it with Bayern Munich or you know what? We can go Manchester City as well because I think as a team Manchester City have a better bench. You know what? Let's go Man City in honor of them playing so well in the Premier League. Let's go with Man City. Let's go. Uh, into the career mode and let's look at this. Just let's look at this. The teams in the Super League. You can see Ajax, Arsenal, Mid Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Crystal. Crystal Palace? How are Crystal Palace here? I changed them, didn't I? Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. So guys, I figured it out. We are missing Lazio. So I don't think that it's gonna make any big thing because if we missed a Real Madrid or a Barcelona, I probably would have to do it again. But we are missing Lazio and probably Lazio is going to finish last as our Crystal Palace. But it doesn't make any sense. So Crystal Palace, you can see so many good teams. Oh my god, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Now let's have a look at Manchester City squad. And this is a squad. If you want to talk to me about teams, this is really a team. This is going to be a very, very, very good team. Like, oh, how good is the How good are City? I don't, I just don't understand. They have Phil Foden on the bench. And just see, said Gundagen will be in here. Then we'll have Mar uh, Silva. Then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna play Jao Cancelo left back. And then Ruben Diaz centre back. Then are there any changes we can make? Or Sergio Aguero. Aguero has to go up top. Sergio Aguero. Then some other changes. This is not winter upgraded. So maybe John Stones will get a be better winter upgrade. He hasn't got it now. So yeah, that remains. So yeah, look at this team. This is just outrageous. This is a very good team. But every other team is as good. If not better. So yeah, you can see this is a this is gonna be a very big league so yeah main focus is gonna win the premier league champions league europa league so not now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna simulate till the end of the season and see what's gonna happen 
So look at the fixtures. Madrid, Crystal Palace, AC Milan, Barcelona. If we've got Champions League football also. So we've got Sevilla, Liverpool, Bayern, uh, Olympiacos. Oh, this is, this is going to be tough. So now I'm going to be simulating till... Let's simulate till June the 1st. And let's see what happens. Now, halfway done. We are on 1st of January. So let's see how the league looks like. This is only halfway done. So my manager rating looks terrible. Oh my god, I might get... Um, I might get sacked here. My manager rating doesn't look all too good. But the main thing that we are looking at is the league. So we are halfway done. Who is at the top? Who is at the bottom? Halfway done in the Premier League. And we are sixth. And Atletico Madrid are first. Oh my god, this is a surprise. Atletico Madrid, Diego Simeone working his magic. Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Mad Real Madrid, Bayern, Barcelona, City, Spurs, Inter, Chelsea, Sevilla, Dortmund, Leicester, PSG, Arsenal, Milan, United 16th, Juventus 17th. I actually surprised. Oh, oh my god, Juventus are 17th. You, oh, did. Now the transfer window is gonna be open, so I probably expect some transfers to be made. I probably expect teams to make transfers because I feel the transfers are gonna be made sooner than later. So I expect some transfers to be made. These all transfers, they haven't been made for our teams because of course we closed the transfer window. Now that it is open, teams are making signings. Jesse Lingard has gone to Valencia. Josh King to PSG. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay signings being made. Okay signings being made. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna simulate till the 31st and what I'm trying to do is we'll see what the transfers every team has made. So then we probably might get an idea how the league is gonna look. So yeah, let's do that now. So guys, there are some transfers being made. Jose Gaia has moved from Valencia to PSG. Valencia, of course, being a team who are not in this challenge. But uh, Sevilla are. So PSG signing a left back. Then Jemi Vardy going to Liverpool. Interesting. David Alba to Arsenal. That could change Arsenal's fortunes. Personal Kim Pembe to Bayern Munich. Oh my god. Then you have some random person going to... Uh, United and Visca going to Chelsea. Uh, Ajax is getting back. Davids and Sanchez. Okay, interesting. Mertens, yeah. Okay. So there are transfers being made. There are transfers being made. And Liverpool have signed Sergio Roberto. United have signed PK. Interestingly enough, no, none of the big teams are... Expected teams like Barcelona and Real Madrid to break the bank, but they haven't, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I of course haven't made any signings. Yeah, Aguero has signed for Real Madrid on a free transfer. That's a pre-contract signing. So I can't make any signings and I won't be making any signings. So yeah, that's it. So now let's move to the end of the season to see who wins. So guys, now it's all over and now... This is it. Crystal Palace last. We can... Yeah, Lazio would have finished last. We can take Lazio 20th. Then Porto 19th. Ajax 18th. Ajax relegated. Then we've got Leicester in 17th. But they have got a good 15 points on Ajax. PSG 6th. PSG... How, how did PSG come in there? They have Neymar Mbappe. Juventus 15th. Milan 14th. Chelsea 13th. 12th goes to Sevilla, 11 Dortmund and now the top off of the table, Inter Milan in 10th, Arsenal in 9th, okay, okay, 8th is Spurs, uh, we have made the top 7 with City, we have made the top 6 with City, Man United in 7th and we come 6th, okay, let's go, Real Madrid in 5th, Bayern in 4th, Barcelona in 3rd, so, who is left? 
Atletico Madrid is one. So is Atletico Madrid winning? No, they aren't. Then who's the winner? Oh, it's Liverpool. Liverpool. Liverpool have done it. European Championship. Liverpool winning. FA Cup. Let's see. FA Cup and we lost in the final to PSG who came 16th in the league. PSG, they came 16th in the league. We bet Liverpool, Dortmund, Barcelona. We bet so many good teams to come here. And we bet Atleti also. And we lost to PSG. Okay, Carabao Cup. And it's Real Madrid beating Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Whom did we lose to? We lost to Real Madrid. Okay, we lost to the Champions. Then now the Europa League. It's so sad that Real Sociedad winning the Europa League. Arsenal were up there. Leicester were up there. Okay, okay. And now the big one. The Champions League. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool in the final. And United beating Liverpool on penalties to win the Champions League. We lost in the semi-finals to you know, all English um, uh, semi-finals. Interesting. The big guns uh, seem to get knocked out pretty easily, I'll say. Yeah. How did this is... This was actually, this is astonishing. This is astonishing. I didn't get the sack as well. So, who scored the goals for the aspect? Sterling because he's so high rated. It's De Bruyne. We didn't score many goals. Aguero didn't score goals. Aguero didn't score goals. Okay. Okay. Who was the top goal scorer? We're gonna see now the top goal scorer. Player stats. Sadio Mane. Okay. Lewandowski, Salah, Messi, Hazard, Suarez. Aubameyang was up there for Arsenal. Okay. Okay. In terms of us, Sadio Mane. So, Sadio Mane had an absolute worldie. Okay, Messi, Mane, Silva, Benzema, De Bruyne, Kane, Trippier. Okay, interesting. This is kind of weird because PSG, this is PSG. How did they, all black of course, keeping the clean sheets. But PSG must have done extremely bad. PSG must have done extremely bad. Looking at the Champions League top scorers, uh, then oh, where am I? Okay, talking about the Champions League top scorers, it's Sadio Mane. So Sadio Mane is the Ballon d'Or winner. He literally is the Ballon d'Or winner. Then you could see Silva, Salah, Payet, De Bruyne, Silva, Salah, Fernandez, Van de Beek. Okay, United winning the Champions League. So guys, that was the experiment and if there would be a European Super League, Liverpool would be that for Liverpool would be the winners and the Champions League would be won by Manchester United. And yeah, competitively Liverpool won the league with eight losses. That was very competitive, I would say. No trophies for me as City. So yeah, that's it now guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the latest content. So, till then, bye-bye.